reality in the same way. Indian myth, according you know, to some occult interpretations, called this sacred fluid Soma. Soma was drunk by priests at sacrificial ceremonies and mixed with milk as a healing, healing charm. Therefore, it wasn't milk. Soma was especially revered on Samvara or Monday, the day of the moon, which has been, you know, a documented symbol for a woman's monthly cycle since at, since the Pleistocene, which is, or Ice Age. Tantric worship of menstrual blood penetrated the Greco-Roman world way before the Christian era and was well established in the Gnostic period. This worship provided a, what they called a spiritual marriage, and it was practiced by Gnostic Christians like the Ophites. And another name for this was the way of Shaktism, meaning Tantric Yoni worship. Shaktism was, a, was declared a heresy before the 7th century AD, and subsequently the spiritual marriage, or love feast, as it was also called, disappeared, and women were completely forbidden direct participation in Christian worship. And the menstrual mysteries basically went underground. Egyptian pharaohs became divine by ingesting the blood of Isis, a soma-like ambrosia called Sa. Its hieroglyphic sign was the same as the sign of the vulva, you know, a yonic loop. And to many secret societies that go all the way back to ancient Egypt, the holy grail in its true original essence is the womb. 